Hi guys, in this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to do the Texas crutch or the wrap method for barbecue. I'm gonna show you how to wrap a chuck roast and a brisket in two different ways, actually three different ways. I'm gonna show you how to wrap it in butcher paper, I'm gonna show you how to wrap it in aluminum foil, and I'm gonna show you how to wrap it in a pan. Not really a wrapping method, but it achieves the same sort of outcome. So let's take a look down here and we'll start with the aluminum foil method. So I have some heavy duty aluminum foil here and you can just use your regular size aluminum foil, it doesn't really matter, you might have to double up on it though. So if you have this heavy duty aluminum foil, it helps a lot because you'll only need one layer of it. So we can just unroll it like this. Make sure you're unrolling enough that you can cover the entire piece of barbecue that you're doing. And we'll take our brisket here, which we've just taken off of my Pit Boss 456D. It's about 165 degrees internal, so it's perfect wrap temperature. And all we're gonna do is we're going to just put it in this bottom layer because we want this to catch all the juices. So we wouldn't wanna put it on an edge, for example. So if we doubled up on this aluminum foil, we wouldn't want to put it on an edge because the juices would just seep through that foil. And we can't really do it this way because if you try to fold up the edges like that, then it doesn't really create a sort of bowl at the bottom to catch all the juices as they're coming out. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to roll this over here to catch all the juices and create a, a sort of bowl on that side. And then we're just going to tuck these sides in like this. And bring it over like that. So you can see that there is a top piece here now. So all we need to do is take another length of our aluminum foil. We'll set that down. And this is where you can really wrap it tightly. So you'll pull this over. You'll kind of pull it taut while pushing the bottom layer underneath and then fold these layers underneath the brisket to hold everything in place. There we go. Now we have a tightly wrapped brisket in heavy aluminum foil. This can go back on the smoker, but now I'm gonna show you how to wrap it in just regular aluminum foil. So we'll open this up. And now we'll take our regular sized aluminum foil and we'll take a length of it out. Take a small sheet out, there we go. Okay, so we've got two sheets overlapping now. We're gonna take our brisket again. This is actually a brisket flat. If you haven't noticed, it has the point muscle removed. Now we don't wanna put it over here, like I said, because otherwise all the juices are gonna seep in through that, through that little crevice there. So put it as close to the edge as you can, but enough so this foil can still kinda of come up a little bit. So then we'll wrap this over like that. And this will come over here. Fold this guy over. Okay, so now we've got a bowl that has a lip on all sides. So the juices are not going to seep out anywhere. Even though this is exposed here, it doesn't matter because we're gonna put another layer of foil over top of it. None of those juices are gonna get out. So we'll do another double layer of just regular aluminum foil here. Take our brisket. And we'll just move it over top like this. And again, just folding the edges in. So it's tight. And there we go. So we've got our brisket wrapped in just regular sized aluminum foil. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to wrap in butcher's paper. So we wrap in butcher's paper because it lets a little bit of, of the steam out of the wrap package and it preserves the bark a little bit more. So that's why I like to wrap brisket in particular with butcher's paper. So we'll take a really long sheet of it. And this is pretty small butcher's paper. It's a good idea to get a larger sheet size than this, but most of the time this is what people have to work with. So what I like to do is I just go to the very end of the roll and I sort of move it over like this.
So now we've got that bowl created that none of the liquid is gonna escape from. But we do something a little bit different in this case because this butcher's paper is a little bit smaller. I'm gonna flip the brisket over. Just like that. So we've still got that bowl created on this side. And now I'm just going to make that do a bit of pizza shape. Fold that over. And now when you put this back in the smoker, it's all gonna hold itself together and it's still got that bowl underneath it uh, where none of the liquid is gonna escape. So that's how I use the minimal amount of butcher's paper possible in order to uh, wrap these effectively. If you want to, you can add another layer of butcher's paper, but it's not necessary. Okay, now the last method I'm gonna show you is with the pan. So I've got a chuck roast here that I've been cooking in my Masterbuilt electric smoker. I'm ready to wrap it. I'm gonna pull it apart so I'm not worried about preserving the bark in the same way that I am with the brisket. So I'm not gonna wrap it in butcher's paper. So we put it in a pan. We're gonna sprinkle a little bit of moisture in here, just some apple cider vinegar, uh, some apple juice. There's some Worcestershire sauce in here, some beef stock, whatever you wanna add in just for a little bit more moisture. And then we're gonna take our tin foil, aluminum foil, and we'll cinch it over. I'll probably need two of these. And that's basically it. So I hope you found this video helpful, guys. If you wanna check out a great recipe, check out this brisket video here. It's gonna teach you everything you need to know about making brisket so that you can get it to the point where you need to wrap it in butcher's paper. It's gonna tell you all of that stuff and explain the reason behind it. So check this video out and I'll see you in the next video.